So hello, I wanted to make a video about this since I'm passionate about this subject matter. Um, so I recently came across this uh, article with Bounding in the Comics, and I think it was based on the CBR article of Colleen Clinkenbeard uh, coming out and saying that female characters are mistreated in anime or that they're second class citizens or a love interest or some sort. I, or, they, they try to chase after a boy or something like that. I mean, that's not always the case with anime. I mean, maybe some shounen anime that's been over the years, uh, uh, in the 2000s had that problem, especially with Naruto. Um, the, but you got plenty of other examples, Cardcaptor Sakura, Sailor Moon, uh, Fate, Stay Night. I mean, for God's sake, the guy, the lady plays Ursa from Fairy Tale. So this makes no sense whatsoever, unless she just hates the fact that she's uh, always uh, typecasted in supporting casts uh, into the strong female character role, which that's not a big deal. I think what it, what her problem is, is she just wants a, a, a lead role. That's basically it. I will even go in further saying um, there's just sometimes where there are roles for her voice that just doesn't fit the character. I hate her as Momo. I think she sounds way too old for Momo, for uh, My Hero Academia, since the uh, Bounding in the Comics article pulled uh, up her up about that. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if she has, like, a big problem with, like, playing Luffy from One Piece. And I love her Luffy as One Piece. I, I, I'm I kind of disappointed because I was hoping she was better than that because I never really seen a whole lot of virtue signaling wokeness from her and on Twitter. Um, but still, I'm kind of eh about her uh, even uh, way before everything happened. So, <laughs> I remember reading something on Kiwi Farms where uh, her, Monica Riola, and I think some other chick, I don't know if it's Janie Marchie or not, that actually made a YouTube video saying something along the lines of something similar to this. Um, recurring pattern, they're usually not uh, played into, like, lead roles. Um, like, uh, um, um, with the exception of Monica Riola playing Sakura from Card Captor, Sakura Clear Card. Um, but... I mean, or any type of obscure anime. So, um, I, 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 I'm, this is my uh, impression of why she said that. And I think it is because she does get typecasted into supporting roles and not in lead roles. Uh, so that's kind of the reason why I think that. I also think because I think if I uh, read correctly that she was involved or in charge of the the DVD box set Blu-ray releases or something to that effect in some sort of department at Funimation, uh, I'm assuming she's going to be out of a job soon next year uh, because Sony's cleaning house and she's going to be the first to go. That, that, that's my two cents. I do not know. This is just a theory. My little tinfoil hat theory. So don't um, take it for as gospel. But I really kind of have a, a feeling that that might be the case. So anyways, guys, what are your thoughts down below? I know this isn't like the... It isn't like, you know, something I, I record or something like that on my laptop or anything like that. But I, th I think... I think this is this will be fine. So uh, tell me what you think and uh, down below and leave a thumbs up. Uh, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.